welcome to another exciting episode of Dust Electronic Repair Bay. I'm Warren YouTube here with you on this Friday morning. Yeah, the weekend is here. Um, gonna work on this Juliet one more time. Um, gonna try to track down this little rushing noise I have, a uh, waterfall, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I'm, there's a couple things I want to do for sure. Uh, first off, I'm gonna disconnect the radio input from the volume control and I want to eliminate the possibility of this is happening before the volume control before the audio amplifier I don't think it does I does I don't think it is because turning up the volume control doesn't increase the noise anytime that uh, working on uh, an amplifier of any kind uh, with a radio uh, if Turning up the volume control increases the noise of whatever noise it is. It means that the noise is before the volume control. Simply put, because turning up the volume makes the noise increase. So that whatever signal noise signal is coming into that volume control increases as you turn the, turn it up. It's a it's a simple thing. I forget that a lot when I'm I'm working on stuff, but uh, it does does it's a simple rule you can follow. So, like I said, if, if increasing that volume control doesn't have any effect on it, then it's in the audio amplifier itself. So, uh, what I've been reading and stuff like that, I always try to read about every time I come up with something I don't know all that much about. Um, uh, tube types, it was the microphonic tubes, things like that would cause problems like that. So, I'm assuming maybe the transistor may be the same, I don't know. Um, we... Uh, I have debated long and hard about uh, changing all the resistor, no, resistors, all the capacitors on this radio. Uh, again, not not the all the capacitors, but the electrolytic capacitors. There, I think eight or ten of them I counted before. Not that many, but still a pain in the butt to uh, go through and change every one of them. So, I thought what I'd do is is like I say, I'm gonna uh, rule out the uh, radio part first and after that's done then I will uh, take my signal tracer and just do some random checks on the circuit board and see if I can determine anything at all from doing that and uh, if not then I'll probably try a more uh, systematic or more logical approach to the uh, troubleshooting uh, maybe just replacing the capacitors I don't know but we will track it down so Stay with me, and we'll get right into it. All right, what we're going to do first is, like I said, take this uh, input to the um, volume control off and see what effect that has to do with our noise, if anything. So... Alright, we're going to go ahead and plug it in and see what kind of noise we have. Guess we better turn it on first. Let me get the uh, radio, or not the radio, the uh, camera over here to the uh, microphone. So when I turn it on, you'll hear what I hear. sure what you hear I hear nothing okay now that is all the way up that is all the way up so I don't hear the uh, rushing noise at all. 
So that kind of means, the way I'm reading it, that maybe the noise itself is in the uh, radio part. I don't know. I think maybe I better take a clip lead and clip it on and see what happens then. Although it's starting to come in a little bit, I hear some noises. Let me let it let the uh, radio warm up a while, just like it is, and see if we get it then. It may be uh, one of these deals where you know it's caused after it warms up. So we'll let it let the radio warm up a while and see if it makes any difference. So be right back. Hi, afternoon, YouTube. Here with you one more time to uh, bring you some more little update on the work area. And it's a nice floor you're looking at there. And if we travel upwards, hey, there's the window. And there's nothing sitting in front of it. How about that? Let me back up a little bit here and we'll see what else we can see. Oh yeah, this is uh, much better. You see there's the shelf I had mentioned putting in there. And it fits in there rather nice. There's one box sitting there in front of it that's got to be moved. I do have to uh, do more work up here, obviously. But I have been able to get rid of most of the stuff. Uh, that we'll have to wait for another day. But uh, The bench itself is rather cluttered at the moment. But it's a work in progress also. So. Uh, as far as the Juliet radio, um, I, I, I turned it on and it did not make the noise. I think I've already covered this, but uh, I did leave it play for a couple, three hours and it started making noise again. So it's obviously a heat, heat related problem. And so I think I may, I may put that aside until I get me some freeze spray. I'm just imagining it's a transistor, but you know, you never can tell. It could be a, a a lot of other bad components in there. I mean, capacitors, resistors, things like that. So, anywho, we're gonna kind of shelf that. As you can see, I've already started on another project. So, we will uh, see where this leads to. I was able to uh, make some some good room over here by doing this. I have the uh, two of my tool cases there the one I, I portable case and everything like that and the light I'm still gonna play with that light and get that up on the uh, bench here one of these days if I can figure out a way to hook it up now that I have both shelves up I think it'll be easier so we'll see how that works out a uh, little at a time progress is progress is slow going sometimes but uh, uh, that's just the way it goes I guess but I am really kind of proud of that. Did that all myself, basically. Uh, I did have some help from Lexi a little later on uh, with cleaning out around through there and things like that. But uh, uh, so, anywho, that's a good progress. I wanted to report that. And like I say, uh, I'm going to wrap up this video here on this one that uh, started out with the Juliet, and I think we're just going to cut this here and. Uh, Continue with the Juliet another day when I try to get me some freeze spray and uh, See see what happens with that. I'm in no hurry for any of these Let me move back over here a second uh, Like I said, I'm in no hurry for any of these projects to get done Well, you know, what am I gonna do? I'm not selling them or anything like that. So uh, I may even go ahead and work on this uh, case up here and put some labels on it. I did uh, put some labels on my uh, my probe for the uh, signal tracer, if I can find it. I did trade that out, by the way. That was one of the things I wanted to do, was get that other heat kit meter out of that case. Oops. Anyway, I got the heat kit uh, meter probe la labeled. The, I had it with a magic marker, Sharpie, whatever you want to call it. But uh, those, those are a little bit more permanent, I do believe. So that's uh, been marked and I want to mark the uh, output for the uh, variac and the drawers like I was talking about and go from there but uh, again this is basically it for this video so I, I just wanted to kind of oh this is another thing I did get these uh, um, 4871 chips in 
they're both in there. It's they're really small uh, chips, um, so I'm hoping I can get those soldered in without too much problem. So we'll be working on that one of these days. See how that turns out. But uh, anywho, I'm probably too close to it. Uh, like I say, uh, that's another thing that uh, socket or the uh, receptacle that's going to be going on that end. And that one there on this end will be coming out, and that will be the dim bulb. Um, so, a uh, bunch of stuff coming up here. So, you guys stay tuned, and uh, we will be back uh, as soon as I can. Uh, the girls are staying a little later than I thought they are were. So, uh, we will have supper here, and then they'll go home after their dad gets off work. And uh, that'll be that. So, you guys have a pleasant evening afternoon evening tomorrow next day whatever till i see you again have a great one thanks for watching see ya